Going full-time crypto has been a complete adventure and I'm gonna share today what I have been making with my CK5 miner. I myself don't have too much of a technical background, but I do love learning about this stuff, getting my hands dirty and getting completely involved with these projects. It's my first ASIC miner. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. It basically just a computer, a massive circuit that does only one thing and one thing only, mine cryptocurrency. It is not made for playing games. It doesn't have a screen. It just does one thing. It has one function. I have been mining with my CK5 k5 for about two months now and there's a lot that i wish i would have known before i actually got started now if you're new to mining let me break it down to you really quick so you don't make the same mistake that i did it took me about a month and a half almost two months to get my asic miner online just because i didn't have it all planned out and i didn't have the proper hardware you're going to need a 250 volt 30 amp plug and cable for these to operate now i will be putting the links down below for what you need it does help me grow a little bit on the channel but you can't avoid this you can't go around this this is what you need the miner itself the ck5 or most asic miners actually run on 250 volts and 30 amps the regular wall outlet will not suffice and you could actually just damage your miner i'd be surprised that if he even turns on but you don't want to do that what you have in the wall itself is 115 so uh, you basically need just double that and then you're going to have the actual cable the cable that comes with it uh, i'm pretty sure is for uh, the australian don't quote me on that but it is not a us cable so it will not work so this is the cable that i use now with the magic word here is an l630p power cord all right that that's what you have to get again links in the description but make sure it is c19 to l630p c19 is going to be this part right here it's going to be uh the actual part that goes inside to the miner that doesn't change that's that's still the same the only thing that changes is this power cord right here now this power cord is going to fit into this receptacle right here makes for a smooth entry and that's the appropriate gear hardware that you need to be running for these asic miners now since this miner runs off 30 amps and 250 volts it's not like that's already built into your wall outlets that is actually the same thing that your dryer uses so what you need to do is you need to get an electrician and they're going to install another breaker here if you have space and if you don't have space then there are still ways to get around this but talk to your electrician and see what you need to do now depending on your situation the cost will vary but i paid about 300 dollars and he installed the circuit breaker and and then he ran the conduit and he installed the entire circuit onto the walls. I just told him exactly what I wanted to do. I also told him where I wanted the receptacle. All I did was buy the supplies and he did all the work. Another thing that I'm going to include here is this ethernet over power adapter here. It's just a power line ethernet adapter. It's not a power over ethernet. It's a little bit different. So this is the easiest way for me to explain how this works. You have your router that's already connected to the internet. You have the ethernet coming from the router to your adapter. The adapter is plugged into the wall. It has to be plugged into the wall. It cannot be plugged into to an extension cord then the signal gets put into all of the connections in your home finishing up what you have to do is connect this adapter to the wall outlet that's closest to where your miner is going to be placed at then you're going to connect the ethernet to the adapter and then the other end will go into your miner not a tv once you connect everything you should be able to push pair and then match the lights the instructions will be on there to show you how it's done some of the lights will be blinking at first but once you get the third bottom light connected that means that everything's good to go the third bottom light means that there is something actually receiving the internet signals. Just because there's internet going through the ethernet doesn't mean that there's actual internet signals being received. So in other words, if you unplug the ethernet from the back of the ASIC miner, the bottom light of that adapter is going to turn off because you're not receiving any more internet. So this is a good thing to know when you're troubleshooting your miner. If your miner goes offline and you go and look at your receptacle and you see that the third bottom light is off, then that means that there's gonna be some kind of internet or connectivity issue. So maybe it's a physical connection that's wrong or maybe the modem restarted, but it points you in the right direction of how to get your ASIC miner back online. Now, before you connect your ASIC miner to the internet, let's test out an internet by taking a laptop to the ASIC miner, connect the ethernet to that laptop and just go to speed test on Google. If you click on speed test and if something pops up, then you know you definitely have internet. Make sure you have turned off the Wi-Fi for your laptop, but you can go ahead and click on run a speed test. Your speed test will let you know if you have any problems in the cables or just anything in general that would start you off on the right foot to avoid any problems down the road. Once your speed test is good, you can close out of that. All you gotta do now is connect the ethernet to the ASIC miner and then run the setup phase. For those of you who are new to mining, what I like to do is I like to go to whattomine.com. And if you're looking for a miner, this is where I personally would go. I go to miners. This is for the ASIC section. 
So click on the miners tab up here, and then you can actually see what miners are being profitable. Of course, many of them are gonna be green because we're in the market that we're in, uh, but a lot of this stuff is, is getting extremely competitive. So here you can see in red what is still to come out, uh, but if it's already in black and it tells you the date that it came out, you can actually just click on these to see what kind of results you can get with this miner. So if you come down here, click on the KD5 miner for the Kadena miner, you can actually calculate what it would cost you to run this miner. I have 0 0.07 per kilowatt and click on refresh and it's going to tell us the profitability. So this miner will make us $74 a day at the current price of this market um, after you have paid about $4 in electricity costs. So if you go back to the CK5 miner, which is what I have, don't just be fooled by this number here. Uh, this doesn't take into calculation everything, especially if it's your first time to this page. We got to change the settings. I have 0 0.07 per kilowatt and it also tells you where you're getting the most money at. So right now the CK5 K5 coin is just dropping immensely. It is just ridiculously low. And at the same time, the network difficulty has been increasing dramatically. So therefore, these earnings have dropped literally like four times now. So we were earning $45, $50 a day at the time. Now we're earning $10 a day. So that's a big hit in the face. But if you're looking to hold on to these coins, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people thinking that this coin is going to 10X or maybe 20X down the road. This is not financial advice. I personally have been selling a lot of my coins, trading them in for something else, but I am a full-time miner, so I do have to pay these bills. Now being a full-time startup miner is not super glamorous. It sounds cool, but it's not cool when it starts dropping. So in hindsight, Side. I wish I would do more. I wish I'd have, I would have done more, gotten more miners planned in advance, but this is all a learning experience. But whatever I can provide for you guys in hindsight so you guys can do things better in the future, then I think it's worth it. Now, this is not my only miner, but this is my only ASIC miner. I have helium miners. So as you guys know, if you guys follow me on the channel, we talk a lot about helium, but I'm trying to branch off and talk about many, many more ways to create sources of income through cryptocurrency. Now, if you're considering buying a miner, I have two places that I would recommend you go. First, you go to whattomine.com here. This is not uh, where you buy miners, but they do have um, the links here so you can actually avoid getting scammed. Uh, but personally, if you buy a miner, I would just go to the official goldshell.com. There is also Miner Bros and Coin Mining Central. Make sure to actually click the links here or just type in the correct address. Um, I don't have any affiliate links for this. I'm just making a video to show you guys uh, what I'm doing. But guys, please make sure to click these links here. It's horrible if you would be scammed for seven, 12, you know, $18,000 for these ASIC miners because there's a lot of people trying to copy these links here and they can just throw you off by adding one more R or throwing in one extra I in here and they really do catch a lot of people. So please don't fall victim to that, that would be horrible. But if you were to type in goldshell.com without <laughs> doing a typo, boom, there you go. Click on gold shell and they will have some of their miners here. Now, um, again, like I said, the scam thing, <laughs> they have all of these scam websites. It says, look, look, Beware of fraudulent websites. So if you can click on here and it'll show you all of the websites that you know they try to throw in like one more letter. Look at this, the gold shell with the accent mark on the E. I mean, come on, but I'm sure that probably got somebody. Gold shell miners, they'll throw an S on it. Support at goldshellminers.com. See, that's that's crazy. These guys put it up here because of the damage that these guys have been doing. So clearly if they're putting it on the website, then it's of importance. So gold shell really only does sell uh, their own, you know, gold shell miners. Uh, that's their brand. And of course, most of the time they're sold out because of the value of these crypto miners so going back to what to mine.com you could find something like for example at coinminingcentral.com and they will also be selling other miners including gold shell miners now coin mining central for sure has way higher prices than anybody else i'm pretty sure they buy from the actual suppliers and then just resell it because that's the only way that i see that they would do it that being said here's this kd6 miner and it's a 44 GBP or also $60,000 for this KD6 miner, which is insane. Prices on these miners are ridiculous. Man. So enough from that, like going back to how much I've been making to my earnings report, this is on October when I started mining and I was getting about 1,800 a day basically for a while and then I noticed that it immediately started to drop off in earnings because of the network difficulty. As you go down the list, you can see I'm making 1,600 coins a day, 16, 1,500, 1,400 coins a day, and eventually we start to go down. We start to see, you know, 1,200, 1,100, and sure enough, guys, it's sad to see this. I hate the fact that I'm seeing this, but I am now seeing 900. 900 disregard these low days because this is my miner was down and i got i don't know how i didn't get notified we're looking like in the uh, 900 range right now so sure enough guys if you're getting into mining just expect that the difficulty will always continue to increase 
forever and ever. Now, the only way that you're going to be profitable in the long run is if the coin appreciates or if the coin just uh, stays at a really high return rate. For example, like the Kadena miner, if the Kadena miner stays at the price that it is right now, even after it's popped off so much, then yeah, uh, you could be making some good returns because you got to think about it. If you're using the coins to pay the bills at the moment, then you're receiving them and they are super low earnings. That means you're giving away a big portion of your coins. So therefore you're not able to actually fully capitalize on doubling, tripling or 10 xing that coin value. You're only going to 10 X whatever is left over. So now when you go to coinmarketcop.com, you're going to call and type in CKB nervous network. And then it's going to pop up right here to see how much I am making. For example, I made $949. I'm sorry. Today I made 949 coins. So therefore, uh, how much did I make today? 949. That means I made a total of $14. Now, of course, that doesn't take into account electricity. So on average, mine takes about four to six dollars in electricity. So take away six dollars from that just to be conservative. Now, depending on when you buy your miner, the prices go up and down so much. Uh, you have to calculate this to actually get an ROI. For example, me at this rate, it's going to take me almost a year to get my ROI back. But it's really hard to say that because uh, the coins will never stay at the same price. They're going to go up, they're gonna go down. We're gonna enter a bearish market. We're gonna enter a bullish market, who knows, right? So uh, the, the whole thing with this crypto mining is that you believe in the project, you believe in what it's doing. You like to contribute, right? By being a network provider, by being a part of the consensus. Now, if you believe in the project, it's easier to hold on to the coins, but I am looking to hold on to as much of this crypto as I potentially can for the long run. I will, uh, I will hold for years and years to come if I have to. Crypto mining has completely changed my life and the way that I operate in a day-to-day -day basis. And honestly, I'm just super excited for this new era to come. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this kind of videos. And if you guys want more of this stuff, or let me know what I can do for you guys. Put it down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.